I am Dr. S. V. Kotwal. I am the chairman of the Department of Urology at Artemis Health Institute. And I am going to talk to you about a condition which is which attracts a lot of attention these days, and that is cancer of the prostate gland. Let me first of all explain to you what the prostate is on this model. The prostate is a small gland which is situated below the bladder and above the urethra. This is about the size of a walnut. The prostate gland is very important because its secretions are necessary for fertility of the semen. After a certain age, when the reproductive age is over, this prostate gland starts growing. And it starts growing after the age of 50 or 60 in every single man. It does not cause symptoms, it does not cause obstruction in everybody, but in those that it does, it produces compression of the urethra. As you can see on this, this model, that this is the normal prostate in a cut section, the bladder above and the prostate gland and the urethra passes through it. When it starts growing, it starts compressing the urethra like this. And when it becomes severe, then it severely narrows down the urine path. But sometimes in some people, the cells of the prostate start multiplying very fast and they develop a condition known as cancer of the prostate. Cancer of the prostate does not cause any special symptoms of its own, but it can mimic all the symptoms caused by a benign enlargement of the prostate. Cancer of the prostate is a very common cancer. It is the commonest cancer in the United States. It is not so common in India. The important thing to remember is that it is a slow-growing cancer. It is not something to be as scared of as breast cancer or ovarian cancer or uterine cancer. So therefore, if it is detected early, it can be successfully treated. We try to diagnose prostate cancer early, particularly if a patient is young and has at least 10 or 15 years of life expectancy ahead of him, because in such cases we can cure the disease entirely. If it grows outside the prostate or spreads to other parts of the body, then we only can control it, not cure it. There are various means of control and whether by hormones or by radiotherapy or by drugs and so on. But the important thing is to catch the disease early. The ways to diagnose prostate cancer are a test called PSA and a rectal examination. PSA is commonly done nowadays, but remember that high PSA does not mean prostate cancer. There are other conditions that can mimic prostate cancer and therefore there is no way to exclude prostate cancer excepting by erected examination. Having done that, we must confirm the diagnosis by doing a biopsy and biopsy is the only test which can definitely diagnose prostate cancer. Then we have many ways of finding out whether it is still inside the prostate or has gone outside the prostate because the treatment varies. If it is inside the prostate, the best treatment is to take out the entire prostate gland by surgical means. Either by open surgery or by robot, the results are the same. If it has gone outside the prostate gland, then we can only control the disease and see that it does not spread very fast. So there are, this is a, to reiterate, this is a cancer which is not as common in our country as in the West for reasons which are yet to be known, that we must try and catch the disease early and three, that it is not a disease to be as scared of or it is not a disease that is as aggressive as say lung cancer or breast cancer or cancer of the uterus. Thank you.